he will prove that he is the owner of this country. If Nigeria will be one country, Nigeria will be. If Nigeria will not be, God will share everything. Nobody can stop God from doing what he wants. If God says, being one will scatter everybody, God can share. Go to your various zones. As for there was a time the British people were controlling Nigeria. Are they still controlling now? Are, do we not have our own president now? Are we not independent now? By that time, if you talk about Nigeria's independence, it will be like a taboo. It will be a treasonable offense. In the 1930s, 40s, 50s, until 1960, God said enough is enough. The same God is still alive. So when people begin to talk, they want to go. They want to go. Listen to them. If there's a need for them to go, they should go. Instead of staying together and nobody is comfortable, nothing is moving well. We shan't die together under one pot. We can still be one brothers, in one homogeneous former Nigeria. There was one old East Central region. When Anambra, Imo, Abia, a boy, and then Enugu are in one state. Nothing is impossible. An idea which time has come, nobody can stop. So our leader should look into what is happening. And follow the trend of events wisely. And act timely before it is too late. Because the signs in the atmosphere are manifestations that God is in action. Amen. Amen. You know, certain things we, we say here, if you ask for Ambaka how, he, he doesn't know. Now this thing I'm talking about, shall we go? Now, Enugu is an autonomous state. Anambra is an autonomous state. Doing very well, oh. Airboy is an autonomous state. Doing very, very well. Abia is an autonomous state, doing well. Imo is an autonomous state, facing her battles. So, and wars. But the important thing is that it's no longer one old East Central state. And in the future, one president will say, come and add more states. There could be other, other states. And so can people can go. It's just need for them to go. So this thing of we must stay together is not true. It can only happen for a while. A time comes even when a child in the family, no matter how you love the child, will marry out. When a son will go out and build his own house somewhere, everybody mustn't stay together forever. So if you believe that, that it, it must be one Nigeria, you are deceiving yourself. We should not just lovely, peacefully, watch what is happening. Instead of killing everybody, if you finish the whole house of people in the name of closing uh, Boko Haram or whatever, by the time you have finished killing their youths now and you see the need for them to be autonomous, what have you achieved? If you have finished killing the Igbo people because they want the Afra and you have killed all, bombed all, bought jets we could have used to build industries and you are using that to kill the people you have not given jobs. When the time comes, if the Igbos must go in the name of Biafra, they will go. If the Yoruba people will go, they will go. It is a matter of time. And in Ecclesiastes 3.11, the Bible says, God beautifies all things in his time. Please, they should listen to me. I am a voice that they should listen to. Praise the living God. And the apostles 
in the overwhelming heat of miracles everywhere, people started following them. And the Jews became jealous. Look at what the Bible says in Acts chapter 13, verse 45. Look at it. The word says, But when the Jews saw the crowds, however, you go mad in like the crowds coming to the adoration ministry. The Bible said, when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with envy and jealousy. Today's first reading. They were filled with envy and what we are passing through is a valley of envy and jealousy. There is no offense that adoration people committed. Thank you, Jesus. But they have not seen anything. They should better key into what God is doing. Otherwise, they kill themselves. As for me, God has given me an enormous divine courage. Nobody can stop what I'm doing. Because it's controlled from heaven. I can't even stop myself. Even if I want to say, I will not say it. God will force me to say it. There is nothing I'm saying now that is under Father Mbaka's control. So I minister to our leaders again. Let them quietly talk to themselves. Let them talk to themselves and they open all these prisons. Liberate all these young people. Even the name they cannot they are holding, they should leave him. Igbo, the man of Yoruba, Igbo, they leave him. Let us come to a round table. Shall we continue? If there is a time, if, and if the time has come for peaceful separation. O povo de engraça a comunicação um pouco mais completa, instrumento necessário para lhe dar uma comunicação visual e estratégia de marketing digital. Serão abordadas neste curso várias técnicas de comunicação visual. Iremos usar durante a formação as melhores ferramentas de direção. We can be old Nigerians. We, we are not saying that Igbo people will not go to Hausa land. Go to Sabongiri. Our people are there. Go to our Gariki in, in Enugu here. Hausa people. There's no problem. That some cattle here that are killing our people doesn't mean that the whole Hausa people are wicked. No. Go to Yoruba. Instead of using bombs, killing your children is evil. Those who are responsible will suffer to die tomorrow. Because whether they like it or not, at the end, are we even realistically in one Nigeria? The sharing of things. Look at it properly, not sentimentally. Even in the political equation. If the people who felt less privileged still want to go. Why are you holding them? That if you leave them, they will die. They say, leave us. Let us go and die like that. So what's your problem? So those political beneficiaries, those who think they are still benefiting from what is happening now, whatever you benefit now, you are going to lose in the future. Because blood of the youth are involved. Look at what happened at that Lekki toll gate. 